boys and girls, my name is Hatsu C and welcome back to Factorio. The last time we built a factory for low density structure and the bigger picture of the factory for our rocket silo. And we are almost there, aside from the rocket silo itself, we're missing the rocket fuel, the uh, rocket control units and the satellites. So should not be that complicated, right? Um, we said we want to have the setup for the rocket fuel here on this side where we have the, the light oil, which we will need for the production. And looking at this, we need 13 assembly machines with beacons uh, and modules. Uh, so, uh, uh, let's let's get to it um, I think this one we do a bit differently because uh, so far we had the the bus our spiral bus on the outside oh here we had it on the inside so I think we will do it on the inside again one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So let's set this up. We will have the uh, fluid input here on the left side. connect all this up and then we can have not enough beacons but you see how how this is supposed to work and then yeah, that will be our output uh, question is output input yeah we have we need more input than than we have output so output over here because there we can use long-handed inserters and quantity we have one per second so we don't even need to uh, worry about do we uh, do we uh, uh, balance it on the belt because the belt will never be full uh, with this setup so there's that so that means here we need this and then we also need power we do that with power stations and if we place them back here we can power the uh, the inserts as well. So yeah, probably also don't have enough of these modules. Yeah, as usual, badly prepared. Uh, this one ends ends here. So let me grab some more materials, finish this setup, bring the rest of the uh, of the bus up to here, and then we can see about the uh, satellites, rocket control units, and the uh, rocket silo itself. The rocket fuel factory is completed. 
And uh, next up is the rocket control units, which is quite simple. We need the speed modules and the blue circuits. Uh, we could even combine those two on, on one belt. Um, do this. And then this. These two go round like this, and here we have these things, and then here. We have the set up for rocket control units here in here. And I think there we have a bit of a space for the output. So input, output, beacons and modules or the other way around and we need once again 13 of those bad boys so one we have two three four five six seven eight nine ten 11, 12, 13. That's the, the last input. That's the last output. And then here we need two additional beacons. And we need power for the whole setup. Nice. And that means we have, aside from the satellite, everything that we need for the rocket. So next thing will be the rocket silo, because the satellite we can produce next to the rocket silo and directly insert the, um, the satellite. So if we look what we need for the rocket silo, uh, we need a bit more steel, we need electric engines, and we need quite a bit of concrete and a bit more space in the inventory uh, so we can collect all these items. So I think I will just empty a few things out here that we don't... Oh. That will not work. So if we do this, then the uh, robots will try to supply us with the things we don't have. Um, actually, here can. Get rid of that. Now we can get rid of the ammunition. I can get rid of those. Um, stone. Yeah. That should be enough space. And strolling through our base, we should find all the ingredients that we need um, yeah there you see robots are already flying um, the 
engines. We're producing engines here, but I think somewhere I do have a chest with engines, yes. So how much do we actually need? 200. That's not enough, but we can come back there later and then we should have everything. I have enough blue circuits, blue circuits factory is also down there. Um, here we have steel, but steel production is a bit lacking. Um, so we will not take steel from here. Um, oh, mm, maybe let's put that to zero. And concrete, we have at our initial refinery. Here we have a chest and we need 1,000. That's one row. Um, then it's only the steel we need to worry about. Don't have any steel here. We should have steel here. Yeah. So steel, we also need a thousand. Not sure if we can get that all here. I assume some of the furnaces have backlogged with steel. So we should get a good amount out of uh, this factory. We are almost uh, there, 200 to go. And uh, looking at the, the belt, it is still uh, coming. All right, we have all the steel that we want. So now it's only the, uh, the electric engines that we are missing. And I would assume we don't, yeah. So we will have to wait for the engines before we can craft our rocket silo and place it slap bang in the middle. As you can see, we have the rocket silo. So let's figure out how to set things up here. We need output. Um, and let's make it this way. Um, we will do that with fast, um, fast stack inserters, not fast inserters. There. And then I think for the satellite, we can do that in a one, um, blue assembly machine. Uh, we only need one uh, for all so many um, many uh, rocket parts but we have to get a few things on here um, We need the blue circuits, so we can siphon these off here, bring them onto this belt. Then we need this, the radars, and we need these as well. 
So that's all fine and dandy, but we also need rocket fuel and low density structures. So these will come in here. And that means here is where we have the, the rocket control units. Let's go. Let's bring that up there. And there. And that should create uh, satellites eventually um, in here we want to have productivity modules and we have enough space around here to add beacons but I suspect that we are not producing enough materials to even beaconize the uh, rocket silo what we need however is inserters here and then we can have this going and we will have this on auto launch and here we do need the uh, output setup here and we will have the loading station here on this side like so um, here we need a station so at the station there we need a signal here we need another one there and there and have one back here and then we can have the loading of the whole thing just of course and and as we have done with the other stations we will let's copy one of our science stations but switch this to space science. Uh, rename this to space science. Space science uh, with the appropriate icon. Uh, add a train and a wagon and the train wants to be white so that means all colors to the max and we go from this station to this station full cargo here empty cargo there and off it goes um, here of course we need to connect the power there we go and we are 35 percent done with the rocket so let's wait until the rocket is finished and see it starts and hopefully we will see 
also some science packs coming out of it. The rocket nears completion. There. And we also should see a rocket or a satellite being uh, inserted. Instead, the rocket is uh, fully erected. And yes, there the rocket goes off. And with that, we should see the, uh, the uh, end screen or the, uh, the statistics. And I have to warn you, I did die a few times. Um, mainly due to, uh, to uh, trains. Um, but we will continue. We have the uh, space science here outputted. We'll go on to that train. And I would expect that uh, before we have the next rocket, uh, we will have uh, the uh, um, this emptied here. Uh, maybe what we could do is basically upgrade this to a uh, red belt, and that should give us uh, one yellow belt here. Uh, we can see there are some gaps uh, which occur when the uh, uh, inserter is rotating. But uh, we already have uh, it half emptied and we are not even 10% into the next rocket. Down here we can see some of the uh, belts are not that full, um, but uh, radars the solar panels, the accumulators, we need those for the satellites. So not that big amounts. And at least at this point, the only thing that is worrying a bit is the uh, solid fuel. At least for the moment, it looks like we still have enough for uh, all our machines. But as time goes on, I'm sure we will run into shortages and uh, shortages will be what we deal with next time. Until then, goodbye.